puts confidence in flesh and not in God. So now let's prove that it is indeed a journey and let's find some scripture to back up what we're saying because that's always important. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I've got so many scriptures marked here. <laughs> um, who was I talking to? Okay. Okay, for, um, for you, woman of God, yes. Genesis 24. Okay, right towards the end, you'll see what that's all about. And I'll leave it at that, okay? And saints, whenever I, if I tell you something and I don't give you scripture, you hold me to it. Because I don't want to give you anything that's not found in the Word of God. Amen. And if I tell it to you, I'm telling you, you'll find it in the Word of God. Amen. And then that gives you literally the strength to hold on to it and Amen. don't let go. Amen. Remember I said, listen, the, your, your faith is your grip on God. Hallelujah. But His grace is His grip on you. Glory to God. So you, you just hold on to it and make sure you have word for it because that Amen. word is what's going to keep you. And I know he's a keeper. Anybody know he's a keeper? Yes. I know he's a keeper. All right. So now let me give you some scriptures. Let me give you these scriptures first in case I miss any. All right. The first one is Proverbs 17 and 8. Now we're talking about our journey now. We're on this journey. Proverbs 17 and 8. I'm going to go back and read them, but let me give them to you so I don't forget any of them. Uh, the, the second scripture is Psalms 35 and 27. Okay. And this is all about your prosperous journey, your journey of prosperity. All right. And also Genesis 24 and 21. And then we end up with Joshua 1 and 8. Mm. Joshua 1 and 8. So then why don't we start with, since we're in Genesis, let's begin with Genesis 24 and 21. All right, Genesis 24 and 21 says, Meanwhile, the man stood gazing at Rebekah in reverent silence, waiting to know if the Lord had made his trip successful, some of you will say prosperous, or not. All right? And when the camels had finished drinking, uh, they took the gold ring. This was when uh, Abraham had made his servant promise that his son Isaac would not marry a heathen, but someone from their own tribe.